Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we will talk about advanced micro devices traded at a NASDAQ ticker named AMD. Well, AMD is showing uh, intraday a doji like candle, although it's still yellow, meaning it's intraday, so it's not fu fully formed yet. But most probably, it will be similar kind of candle by the end of the day as well, because what we see here is a classical. Mm, let's say doji after big white candle here and we saw these situations often it's it's very standard combination of candles like here we saw it uh here and actually it's very very common combination usually after a big white candle with almost no shadows you see these kind of uh combinations of doji like candles and this is not bearish or bullish situation it could be both and then only depends on the current chart situation actually where we are going to head and in this case it already can be said that it is rather bullish than bearish and to understand this let's do a quick analysis and also let's understand levels where we can enter and buy for amd so for advanced micro devices and before we start as always uh, if you are first time watching this video at our channel please don't forget to subscribe this way you will not miss new videos and new interesting discussions for us based stocks and as always at our daily charts we have three moving averages depicted it's moving average 20 50 and 200 being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. Here on the left, you see their depictions. So coming back to the analysis, what do we do? And what do we see actually here? What do we do see? Uh, the situation is next. Um, after having a volatility, let's say session over like four months almost, and trading in, in the channel, uh, in this channel, we can see that IMD uh, is, looks like it's breaking this channel and clearly showing the upwards move here so the channel let's call it r1 r2 is being broken and now it's only the question of of actually next recharge and next going further uh, because as you see here we have uh, several bullish parameters so first of all it's rsi rsi is increasing already one month from the beginning of november when we did touch in the price uh, wise the bottom of the channel r1 r2 and started uh, going upward with one upwards wave then we sit in the middle of the channel which is actually a volatility level here also previously seen and formed uh, going like this and then actually uh, well let's call it v1 uh, and then we rebound from this volatility level and uh, continue the price move slightly uh, again facing r1 and now it's pierced yesterday actually previous trading session and now what we see we see this white doji so the the, the market is deciding where to go and then decision is most probably to be uh, bullish because first of all uh it's rsi as i said it's going really overbought area just touching it still not there but going to cross maybe we will have a slight cross or a bigger cross formation like we saw in in, in august or slight one like we saw in September anyway it's about to cross still might be some correction like this before crossing if you look at um, let's say MACD uh, histogram you can clearly see that uh, starting from mid of October after having two negative waves and then making a small cross up down we see a steady going actually upwards uh, wave and now it's starting a second upwards wave here which is accompanied with the moving up price so this all together is usually very bullish momentum and most importantly and this is the major driver here of the price section these are moving averages and if you look at the moving averages what you can say first of all moving average 200 now it's almost linearly growing which is a good uh, actually overall for the stock but moving averages 20 and 50 are growing upwards with acceleration so if we would draw them here what does it mean it means that they go up and like this the same is true for moving average 50 up and like this meaning that actually these are uh, not only pointing upwards uh, so positive but also their second derivatives are positive meaning they are actually on the acceleration momentum and this means that the price might tomorrow slide a little bit start a little bit lower but overall it's expected to go high so with this having said what could be the buy opportunity here it can be already buy opportunity so anything actually uh, in the vicinity of current uh, let's say candle uh, all the way until the middle of it so until the 90 would be the buy you can say actually anything from the 
middle of the yesterday's candle until uh, the, the middle of today's candle is actually the first buy opportunity and then it is expected that the price will actually go higher then it's still a question to how high it will go because there are no um, top resist levels here seen mainly the decision will be made by rsi well, once it will be overbought in this area and then uh, we can say that okay wave is about to end and once the moving average 20 is actually will start bending to decelerate then we will know that wave is about to end but for the moment it's still quite bullish it still can do some uh let's say corrective movement towards r1 because r1 is a strong attractor here and only then start in this case we just wait and we just buy in this area uh, before r1 actually in the dark circle uh, should just in case if it goes a little bit further any further uh, if it pierces a little bit further actually then uh, anything in the vicinity of v1 level would be a second average down buy and of course as always we do at our channel not given at all we go there but just in case because it's always advised to play as safe as possible if you want really to be a kind of a daily trader guy so uh, a technical trader then it's advised uh, to have a third support in this support level anything in this support level towards a moving average 200 so this would be then s3 level and it's advised to buy with one two two strategy meaning that all funds you want to play here you split in five and then you buy with one portion then in case you average down you average down with two two according to the analysis given here again it's not given at all we go down but just as always we want to be prepared these are the levels to average down most expected behavior is that we slightly go towards R1 and then rebounds upwards. Still might go here and then rebounds again. So in case we start from the first circle and actually from any circle, it's always advised once you have 10 plus percent um, profit, just exit because that's the technical trade, the best margin, uh, the safest approach. With this average down strategy, you will have the maximum let's say optimization to the maximum profit and the minimum possible loss in this case and um, actually as a risk versus profit kind of uh, trade-off it's the best approach with the current chart technical situation again this is in case if there is no negative catalyst coming because if any negative catalyst will come of course the technicality might change we might pierce a little bit lower than moving average 200 but this is very un race situation even then if you follow this advice actually you'll be quite well protected for possible losses and some profit could be seen here so with this having said that's actually all for amd very interesting stock though to watch and already to enter maybe wait a little bit decline it might happen uh closer to the end of the of the trading session or you can already enter um actually into the position overall um, bullish momentum so we'll see maybe some interesting things will come very soon or after some let's say um yeah um, pullback it could be still again so anyway it's very bullish and very profitable play can be seen here as you can see we always give advice in from one to five weeks in advance so it means you can also watch our previous videos from the channel maybe the situation discussed there is just about to happen so you can place your alerts price alerts and make the trade make the profit if you like the analysis with this having said again thank you for watching again do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are first time you will not miss our new videos this way and um yeah good luck see you at another episode of stocks advisor channel